One of the delightful parts of my um, position, I guess, or responsibilities is working with the Inspired Voices Choir. <laughs> In 2009, um, many of us uh, attended a workshop, um, it was called Building Belonging. What we decided to do was keep meeting for a breakfast meeting once a month and it was conversations at that breakfast meeting that led us to um, the, the idea of starting a choir. My experience with the choir has been um, an amazing journey. I would say, mostly because I have uh, the privilege of bringing our residents from our dementia specific unit. The choir meets every Thursday in school term times, we call them a season or a term, and works towards a performance. There, way back in 2009 there were 31 members. We now have 48 members of the choir. Ten of the original members are still with the group. The um, choir has inspired the staff and volunteers. It makes, it's brought a lot of people together. The secret to the choir's ongoing success, I think, is um, the re rewards it brings to those that contribute, that, that are part of it, but also I think the passion. There's, there's certainly a, a wonderful spirit and much relationship building, very positive relationships are built. And I see people, the way they greet each other, the warmth and the feeling of being one with each other and um, sense of community, I guess. I am just amazed at what response happens when I either say loud or soft or change. I, I really, I think we're all amazed because Many of us, of course, are fully, have fully um, cognitive abilities left, but many of us are beginning to go a bit slow in that area. And I am always humbled by the fact that this group of 35 odd people look at me and respond. The Inspire Care principles guide um, our approach to care. There are 12 principles and um, that covers every aspect of what we do and what we um, provide by way of care. We have individuality and diversity, contribution, which I think is a really important um, principle that um, underpins again our Inspired um, Voices Choir, um, enablement, capability, great staff and leadership. Inspired Care is the expression of our relationships with one another. It describes the way that we interact with each other and what we bring and share in the workplace. I guess, I mean, Deidre is such a good um, director and she makes it a lot of fun, but she also doesn't just regard it as a sing-along. So my main preparation is making sure I can find many songs um, that will, some of which people know, some of which they don't know, so that there's that extra effort needed, and um, different styles, different styles from folk or to contemporary, to show songs, to jazz, but we're, and we're up to nearly about 100, we're about 96 in our repertoire at the moment. Well, I think what it means to me is to see so many people coming along in wheelchairs, on walkers, being helped here, who have come to live in a, a, a place like Karuna, which is sort of cared for living, um, to see them picking up their spirits and doing something that gives them a real lift. And it gives me one too. <laughs> My name is Helga and I'm living in this uh, hostel for about four and a half years. I joined the um, chorus about four and a half years ago and I love it. Well I'm Jeff and I belong to the independent living village. The music in the choir lifts me. I mean, I think it's a social therapy for all of us.
I'm, I'm Lance and I live at Wallingbar with my wife. One of the best things about being in the choir is the fellowship and uh, the people you meet and um, belonging to an outfit that really look forward to coming every week. I haven't been a member of this choir before until, until I, that, that they started up here. I mean, and sometimes you go away from a, 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 a choir practice and the, the songs are going through your head all the time. And, and I've got to watch when I come to choir that I sing the right words because I, I've got a habit of making words up and otherwise I, you know, I think it would be a dull life without the choir. It, it's very, very helpful t to me anyway. The, 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 some of the people that are in it, especially the two, two ladies that we have that are blind. Uh, I've been with the choir about a year. How I've learned to read uh, the songs and learning the, the words is that I have to use braille because I can't um, read any large print or anything like that. Singing with the choir makes me feel uh, very, I, I don't know, it's a lift. I'm Beth Harding and uh, I enjoy living in the community here. They're all very friendly and uh, nice to us and I enjoy being in the choir because it's also very friendly and it's something I've been involved in since I was a small child.